Welcome everyone. Today I'd like to offer a, well, not really a new translation, but a way of thinking about possibility in Heidegger that perhaps will open something up for you if you're not a, uh, familiar with the German text, but maybe even if you're only familiar with the German text, because as a German speaker, you may not have thought about this yet. So usually we translate Möglichkeit as possibility. And that's a fine translation. This is what we find in the dictionary. There's nothing wrong with it. Especially in being in time, Heidegger is still, of course, very much within the academic jargon of his time. And one of the things that he attempts is to, to some degree, you could say, uh, invert or show a new relationship between possibility and actuality. As he says, possibility stands higher than actuality. This opens up the future as an open after the closure of metaphysics. Heidegger also describes, as you know, death as the own most possibility of Dasein, a possibility, however, which gives Dasein nothing to actualize. But the German word again is Möglichkeit. What is Möglichkeit? Möglichkeit comes from the verb mögen. I won't say yet what mögen means, but it has a very different base, as it were, than possibility. Possibility comes from Latin. In fact, it comes from the verb posse. And posse means I can, I am able to. It is also to some degree related to power, but more importantly is I am, I am able to. And as you know, in being in time, Heidegger does say, he speaks of sein können, being able to be, uh, ganz sein können, being able to be whole. So that's all within being in time. I think possibility is uh, a decent translation that gets to what Heidegger is trying to say, especially when we also look at what possibility means. But there's another way of thinking through Möglichkeit that can open up something perhaps also for you in your work, either on Heidegger or um, what you do, what you do with it when you um, read Heidegger and perhaps it changes something in your life or you are drawn then to a certain way of thinking about um, your work. And so I want to give this um, translation or I want to point you to what mögen means, which is again, the verbal base of Möglichkeit, translated as possibility. Heidegger in the letter on humanism says that das Sein ist das Mögliche. So that's usually translated as being is the possible. But here Heidegger adds a hyphen between mög and liche. So mög Lich, he wants to point us to the verbal root of mögen, to like and to love. And as such, of course, also to be open to. I've written about this in my book on Heidegger, which I link down there in the description. But I say this again. So Möglichkeit for Heidegger also has to do with love and with being open to. So it doesn't just say being is the possible. In fact, it says being is that which is loving. It loves the human being. It likes the human being in such a found, fundamental, foundational, grounding way that it opens the human being up to world in the first place. We are loved by being. So again, Möglichkeit comes from to like. Mögen comes from love. So when we read possibility in Heidegger, maybe sometimes, or you know, whether you read this in English or maybe French, or Italian where it will be possibilita, or maybe if you read it in, in German, um, because you, either you know German or because German is your mother tongue, you perhaps can now see 
that sometimes Möglichkeit really is more love and being liked and liking and appreciating and being open to rather than possibility or only possibility, only being able to be. Thank you very much.